Well, hello and welcome back. This video answers the question, what does the Bible actually say about the existence of God? So if you're struggling with God's existence, this video is for you. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, proof of things not seen. Hebrews 11.3, by faith we understand that the universe has been framed by the word of God, so that what is seen has not been made out of things which are visible. Hebrews 11.6, without faith it is impossible to be well-pleasing to him, for he who comes to God must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him. Romans 1, 18 through 20. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which is known of God is revealed in them, for God revealed it to them. For the invisible things of him, since the creation of the world, are clearly seen, being perceived through the things that are made, even his everlasting power and divinity, that they may be without excuse. Romans one twenty one, Because knowing God, they didn't glorify him as God, and didn't give thanks, but became vain in their reasoning, and their senseless heart was darkened. Jeremiah 29, 13-14 You shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. I will be found by you, says Yahweh, and I will turn again your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, says Yahweh, I will bring you again to the place from where I caused you to be carried away captive. Psalm 92. Before the mountains were born, before you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Ecclesiastes 3.11. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in their hearts, yet so that man can't find out the work that God has done from the beginning, even to the end. Acts 17.24-27. The God who made the world and all things in it, he being Lord of heaven and earth, doesn't dwell in temples made with hands. He isn't served by men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he himself gives to all life and breath and all things. Job 38, 4 and 6. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if you have understanding. What were its foundations fastened on? Or who laid its cornerstone? 1 Corinthians 8.6 Yet to us there is one God, the Father of whom, all, of whom are all things, and we for him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ through whom are all things, and we live through him. John 1, 1 through 2. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Revelation 4, 11. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, the Holy One, to receive the glory, the honor, and the power, for you created all things, 
And because of your desire, they existed and were created. Psalm 19.1 For the chief musician, a psalm by David. The heavens declare the glory of God. The expanse shows his handiwork. Colossians 1.14 In whom we have our redemption the forgiveness of our sins. Colossians 1.15 He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. Colossians 1.16 For by him all things were created in the heavens and on the earth, visible things and invisible things, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things have been created through him and for him. Colossians 1.17 He is before all things, and in him all things are held together. Isaiah 40.26 Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these, who brings out their army by number. He calls them all by name, by the greatness of his might, and because he is strong in power, not one is lacking. Psalm 14.1 The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done up Abominable deeds. There is no one who does good. Isaiah 45 18. For Yahweh, who created the heavens, the God who formed the earth and made it, who established it and didn't create it a waste, who formed it to be inhabited, says, I am Yahweh. There is no other. 1 John 5.20 For we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding that we know him who is true and we are in him who is true in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Job 11.7 Can you fathom the mystery of God? Or can you probe the limits of the Almighty? May God add blessing to the reading of his word. Well, now it's time for our new modern expression, weighed in the balance. This means to give two opposing views equal consideration. And this comes from Job chapter 31, verse 6. Let me be weighed in an even balance, that God may know my integrity. So this is used like, before choosing a college, you should weigh in the balance all the pros and cons of the colleges that you are considering. Weighed in the balance. 